guys and welcome back. So today I am here to talk to you about all things planner related. So let me just start off by saying this. I thought I had decided on what planner and what planning system and style and all that jazz that I was going to go into for 2019. However, that was a lie. A lie to myself. I have not figured it out. Um, well, I think I have now, but I didn't at the time that I actually ordered a new planner for 2019. And guys, I have already like recorded the intro to this video like way back when. And when I finally went to do like the, um, the overhead video part, flipping through the planner that I picked up for 2019, I realized I didn't love it as much as I thought. And I just couldn't even finish the whole overhead video. So I canceled that out and went ahead and just ordered another planner that is a plan I have already used before that I know I like, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, long story short, we are here to discuss all things planner. Now, being that I am a busy mama for wife, and actually a busy mama five when you include the fur baby Lola, a wife, I run two businesses of my own, my husband's business, like that's just all the things that's going on, right? Just life is busy to say the least. I hate to say busy, but let's be honest, life is busy. So nonetheless, I decided that I was going to have kind of one system for planning out my YouTube and social media type content. And then I thought I was going to have another planner for just all things home life, business, and so on. And again, I quickly realized as I was flipping through that planner, that that was just not going to work for me as well. So let me show you guys and share what my thought process was at first. And then we will get into what I think and I believe I'm actually going to do for 2019. So first up, I picked up this little 2019 calendar. It's a very small little weekly page calendar that I picked up from the um, Dollar Tree for a whole dollar, of course. Super, super cute. I absolutely love it. It's polka dot. It's just, it's adorable. Now, I will probably still be utilizing this and jotting down any things that I need to know, um, like for that particular day, especially for any days that is a heavy errand day for me. So I will probably jot down things that I need to keep in mind. For instance, any appointments, um, the oldest son has to get to work, maybe a kid is staying late out to school, just those things that matter pretty much. So it's just a simple, simple weekly type planner. Nothing special about it. There's no monthly view or anything like that. So it definitely will work perfectly. Again, just for those random daily to do's and to have in my purse um, with me. Because I am one that I really truly do not like to bring um, my actual planner with me all over the place. So having something else where I can jot down the important things that I would need to know for that particular day or that particular week was perfect to go in my, um, my part. So moving on, then I picked up the monthly calendar from the Dollar Tree as well. This is just a, again, a dollar store calendar. So one book, it's absolutely perfect. It's simple, it's minimal. It just has all the monthly um, calendars in it for you to jot down quickly anything that's going on. So my thought process was, I was going to use this for all things related to YouTube. I'll be able to come in and plan out what video content, um, I am planning to go ahead and schedule. If you can see there is a note section here. Video content that I'm that I am planning to record and schedule and then put it into where it needs to go on the calendar and so on. I still may use this, not quite sure. At the moment, pre-planning YouTube just really doesn't work for my life. And it's because YouTube is not a full-time job for me. This is a complete pleasure hobby. I am able to make some income from it, of course, because I am monetized and I do get paid when you guys watch the videos, if you click on any ads, if I recommend any products and you guys click on any of the links that I recommend, I do receive a small commission. So thank you all for that. Um, and for all of you that do watch all the videos, including all of the um, ads that played before, during and after, I appreciate you so very much. You allow me to continue to provide this content um, and just share my life and so on and so forth. So anyways, long story short, um, planning like that, pre-planning for YouTube really just doesn't work for my life. I will jot down a thousand ideas and things that I know I want to share across the board with you guys. 
Uh, but stating that, okay, on Monday, I'm going to do this, Tuesday, I'm going to do this, Wednesday, you know, that doesn't work for me just because of the lifestyle that we live. And it it's not lavish or anything like that. It's just, again, five kids, a hubby, three businesses, mom life. It's just sometimes I fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to social media content. And it's like, I got an hour. What can I accomplish right now in this hour? And then I would just simply look at my list of any video or content ideas that I have. And I'm like, I can knock that out in an hour. Let me do it. That's literally how my YouTube life works, like straight up. Then the next one was going to be just a simple notebook, which I'm still going to use this. I love notebooks just to brainstorm and get things out of my head when I am out and about and I think of something, I can quickly jot it down. And then when I get home later on at night, come into my actual planner and write it into where it needs to go in the planner. So just a simple notebook. So again, I just wanted to share those with you um, in case you are someone that is trying to figure out a social media rhythm or style or planning style, etc. Again, just a simple dollar store calendar that will fit in my purse for those must know things of that day, that week, etc. And then a dollar store calendar as well, where I can kind of map out things for social media a little bit better. And then a good old fashioned notebook. So again, notebook definitely will be using and the planner I will definitely be using a little small one. And then this one here, still not quite sure if I'm going to use that for social media or not. Only because the planner that I'm actually going to go into for 2019 has an additional monthly calendar layout where I can actually jot those things down. So that's still a process um, that I'm working through. Okay, so let's let's go back in time just a little bit before we get into the new planners. Now, if you guys recall, I lived my absolutely best plan life on paper back in 2017 when I picked up this daily planner from the Dollar General for three whole bucks. Hopefully you can make that out. Three whole bucks. Y'all, I absolutely love this planner. First of all, it was $3. Second of all, it is the perfect size. It's a 6.2 an inch and then 8.2. So a little smaller than an A5 um, planner size, I would say. And again, it was just a 2017 daily planner and had a front page for notes on each month. Each month had its own little tab, which is perfect, a little divider tab. And then it definitely had just a standard calendar layout for the month as well as um, a note section too. So it was absolutely perfect. It's a horizontal planner, which was my first horizontal planner and definitely took me some time to kind of get used to and figure out my style and all that stuff in there. However, because it was so simple, it wasn't a lot of fluff with this planner. It wasn't all the additional dashboards here, um, different pages for this and this. It just made it so much easier, I think, to just plan, just to get the things out of my head, onto paper, and get on with my day pretty much. But it also, because it was so simple, it left me a lot of room for creativity to add different stickers, uh, play with washi, and all that stuff as well. But again, it wasn't so overbearing to where I felt like I had to decorate the planner, if that makes sense. If you are a planner type person, then you totally understand me on what I'm saying there. I will throw in a few clips of some of the spreads I did in this um, $3 planner, just to show you guys just how, again, magnificent it was for me. I wish I could have found another one, the exact same planner style and all that for um, 2019. But unfortunately, I looked, I looked, I looked at all the Dollar Generals, Dollar Stores in general, um, and I just couldn't find another one. So nonetheless, this was my, my best plan life, I think, in 2017 in a simple $3 planner. Again, it was not overstated, um, but it still wasn't understated. It gave me enough time or enough um, space to be creative when I wanted to, but then also gave me the ability to not decorate if I didn't want to either. So all that in a bag of chips. Okay, so for 2019, I thought I had decided on this particular planner. I had been looking at this planner for a few years, and I just never could bring myself to purchase it, more so because of the price point. However, the planner that I lived in for 2018, which was the Mormon Mom on the Go Planner by the end, the Leafy Treetop, then I'll leave a link to all of that down below in the description box for you if you are um, interested in checking that out. 
that planner is actually $35. So when I went back and visited the other planner, and let me stop saying other planner, which was the plum paper planner. When I went back and visited that planner, it was roughly about the same price as the Mama Go on its base. So sorting out base price was about 30, I think $35. Once you add in all the extra, it came up like $47. So I spent literally like $44 on a planner. Again, don't tell the husband that, that's between us. Anyways, um, I ended up picking up a plum paper A5 size planner in the Me layout. I will do a complete walkthrough um, and show you guys. It's still in the box, actually. I did pop it open when I sorted the original video, and that's when I realized, okay, I don't think this is going to work for me. And I put it back in the box and said, we just have to come back to this later on. Nonetheless, I will do the next video up will be a walkthrough of um, this plum paper planner. It is absolutely a gorgeous planner, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful planner. The size of the planner is actually perfect for what I prefer. It's just, I think maybe the layout of the planner and the size of the boxes um, aren't as big as I would prefer as what I would need as well. So I'm gonna just quickly pop it out and show you guys um, just briefly here. All right, so here's the planner. As you can see, like I stated, it is a A5 and it is the me design for the plum paper. It's absolutely, I mean, it's a gorgeous planner. I did the chevron print in kind of a bluish purple color and it has um, wife, mom, and boss written on the bottom and you can customize that. Again, I will come back and do a complete flip through of this planner for you. I'm not, y'all paid $47 for this planner. I have no idea of the world what the heck I'm going to use it for again I thought it was going to be my everyday life planner but I just I don't think it is I I, I just don't think it is so nonetheless I am going to um, figure out what I'm going to utilize it for I actually did order like I went overboard but I ordered a ton of stickers from Etsy I did um, I think maybe one or two Etsy kits and I got those in and I will do a um, unboxing of that as well as share it with you guys and then do my first Plan with me using a weekly kit. I've never done a weekly kit before. I've never done one. For, never done Etsy stickers before either. So this is all like first time for me and new. So I will do a plan with me using those stickers, um, which I got there specifically for this planner here. However, I thought and I had told myself for a second that I can be about that whole weekly kit Etsy sticker situation. I lied to myself. I lied. The stickers that I went with and I ordered were $6 for the weekly kit. And mind you, that's just for one week. After that one week, there's no other stickers to use for the remaining of the month. So, I don't know if I can be about that life. And you guys know that I just spent all my money on Happy Planner stickers. So, we will see where that goes. I am thinking, since now that I'm starting the ketogenic lifestyle and I'm also doing homemade food, um, foods, for the fur baby that I may use this as like a few, um, few, a food type journal for me and Lola, um, as well as just a overall health journal type planner. I don't know. It's like I said, I, I don't know. I'm still out. The jury's still out on what I'm going to do with that and all that nonsense there. But I will come back and share a complete, um, walkthrough of this planner with you. It does. I did order, I believe the 14 month planner. Because I wanted to go ahead and get started on it early just to give myself time to move into the planner, get accustomed to the um, my planning style in this planner as well as decorating and all that stuff there. So I did order, I believe, a 14-month planner. But I also got a section that was like for gratitude and prayer. And again, I will do a close-up of all this um, for you guys. So I may use this as my food journal overall health and then a section here as well for gratitude um, and all that stuff and reflection. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the best thing about this is that I did get it unbound. As you see, it's unbound. Therefore, I can punch this with my arc punch and put it on the disc because I am a disc bound girl. I like disc bound planners. So that's perfect because it is unbound. So I can customize this and I can even stick this in the planner that I'm actually going to be using for 2019. So with that being said, let's get into that planner real quick of what I'm actually going to be using for 2019. And then I will also share a separate walkthrough of that planner 
with you guys as well. As you see, I have not even opened this one yet. I got it in um, a couple days ago. I actually ordered this planner over Black Friday, so it did take a little time for it to, um, to get here. But I am going back into the Mom On The Go Planner. This planner is um, it's made for Mormon moms. However, there are a few different versions. So if you are not a Mormon um, or don't follow the Mormon principles, you can definitely um, order the Mom On The Go Planner. It still has a ton of the Christian elements in it as far as like the sayings, different scriptures and things like that. But it's not solely focused on Mormon um, beliefs and so on. Now, I will leave a link to this planner in the description box for you. If you click on that link and buy anything off of their website, whether it's a planner, pens, uh, planner stickers, whatever, you will receive $5 off your first purchase, and I will receive a few referral bucks, if you will, which is basically store money that I can use with this particular company. That way, when I go to purchase my next planner or any other supplies, I will be able to use those store bucks that I have to lower my out-of-pocket, of course. So... If you do decide to go ahead and order, definitely use my link down below. And of course, referral links does not add anything additional to your purchase, not the tax, not the cost of the product, and of course, not the shipping. It's just a referral program that the company offers. All right, so Mom on the Go Planner for 2019. First of all, I absolutely love this cover. It is the bomb.com and everything. And I will do a separate walkthrough because I know these lights are going to have a horrible glare on this. So look at that, y'all. Look how gorgeous. How gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. And it's thick, like that really thick, thick, thick plastic. So again, I have it unbound. That way I can punch it myself on my disc to have it on there. And let's look at the back cover. Back cover is just plain black and it has a little sticker here which says um, in the leafy treetops and it just has stack books 2019. So just their little logo um, on that. All right, so the planner itself came wrapped up in plastic and bound, so that's perfect. That way it, um, you know, no damage or what have you. And again, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of this planner and I'll probably, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, whether I'll just do a straight walkthrough and talk through everything. Um, or what have you, but we'll figure that out as we go. So that is just absolutely gorgeous. Let me quickly pop this open because I am so ready to see this bad boy. Now the Mama to Go Planner, I used this for 2016 and I used it for all of 2018. I absolutely love this planner, y'all. I love it. It's the perfect size for me. It has everything I can possibly need to keep track of as a busy mom on the go, but then also as someone who runs, again, three separate businesses. Let me show you the size comparison to the plum paper planner. If I can hold both of these up at the same time. So as you see here, hopefully you can see that. Not too much of a difference as far as length. Yes, you can tell the width of the plum paper planner is not that much of a difference, but it is more of a wider planner. And then the Mom of the Gold planner is more vertical, if that makes sense. So there it is. Again, I will be doing a full walkthrough of both planners in separate videos to share with you guys um, and stuff. But I just, I love this planner. I can't, I just can't speak highly enough of it. It's absolutely perfect for all of my needs. So I am happy to announce I am moving back into the Mom on the Go Planner for 2019. This will be my everyday mom life, business life planner. Um, and maybe adding additional planners down the line just to cover other things that I need to track and so on that I may or may not have space for in this particular planner or that I just want to keep separate and so on. Now, even though I have been completely indecisive, it doesn't mean that you need to be indecisive. I have a quick okay, surprise. Okay, so while I was you... out doing all the shopping over Black Friday, I did think of you guys as well. And as much as I would love to have been able to bless everyone, my bank account said, nope, not today. You're not on that level yet. Calm down. That's not what we're going to do. 
However, I am able to bless at least one of you with your very own Happy Planner 12 month undated sticker kit, pretty much. So this is like a starter kit to get you started with planning with the Happy Planner line. It comes with the entire planner, all of the um, monthly pages, weekly pages, all of your dividers and such, and also have some beginner stickers in here. So again, a complete sticker kit that is undated. So you are not going to be locked into starting this at any particular time. Absolutely perfect. I will do a um, quick pan over as well to show you guys um, the contents inside of the planner. So again, it is 12 month undated Happy Planner um, starter kit that comes with the stickers as well. The only thing that you would need if you decided to keep up with this particular style of planning, which is the disc planning, is that you would need to get a um, Happy Planner Punch, and you can find it pretty much in any craft stores, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby for a couple bucks, and definitely make sure you get it while um, there are sales going on or coupons. So if you wanted to be able to add additional pages into your planner, uh, for me personally, I love to punch in when the kids have doctor's appointments or any special activities at school. I will just punch in those um, papers into the front part of the calendar and by having the Orc Punch, which the Orc Punch I got from Staples like years ago, so I don't have the actual Happy Planner Punch, but it's the exact same thing, no difference, honestly. Anyways, it allows me to put in those random um, little reminders inside of the planner, so I love that. You would need that so that way you can punch your papers to fit on the disc if you indeed decided to keep up with this particular planning style, again, this planning. So, what do you need to do to enter into the giveaway? Well, first and foremost, you must be subscribed to the channel. You must be an active member of the community here. That means that you at least comment on a few of the videos that I throw up here and there, there and here. Um, and then also definitely leave me one particular comment down below that I really need from you guys is what type of videos and content would you guys like to see from me most often throughout 2019. I would love to be able to give you guys what it is that you are in need of, but also things that of course fulfill me with sharing and all that stuff there. So definitely comment down below what is the one thing in 2019, the one type of content, or even if there's various content that you enjoy from me, what various content that you would like to see going into 2019. And then outside of that, your second comment to be anything related to planning. How do you go about planning out your life, keeping on track of all the days, daily to-dos, things to do throughout the week, the month, the kids, et cetera, et cetera. So two comments type of content from 2019 from me, and then what type of planner are you and how do you keep about going with planning and all that stuff there. So as always guys, I thank you so very much for watching. And again, remember, I will be back with a complete walkthrough of both planners, the Mom on the Go planner, which is the planner I will be using all of 2019. I believe I am decided on that. But then I also will do a walkthrough on the um, home paper planner as well, just to show you guys in case you are interested in this planner um, as well. But until next time, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, happy planning.